Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our next installment in um, our series of programs dedicated to playing card game solitaire. Uh, we have an item here from a George who is a farmer uh, in, uh, in Northern Virginia. He writes in, uh, hey card guy, uh, I live so close to the District of Columbia, how about a game that has some regional appeal? Well, George, I think I've got just the game for you. Now this game is a lot of fun and it is called Congress. It, uh, it's, just, uh, it's just great. So let's, let's say we uh, give it a shot. So we'll start off here uh, with reviewing our deck and then we'll talk about layout from there, okay? So, as you know, we're going to begin our game with a nice clean surface, and of course we're using a standard pack of playing cards here. Uh, 52 cards, uh, two colors within the pack, four suits, as you know, and of course 13 ranks per suit, your standard pack. Now this is a fun game because it involves two packs, so go ahead and uh, uh, get the other pack uh, that you may have handy for a total of 104 cards and go ahead and give them both a good shuffling. Again, we recommend the seven times uh, to achieve the randomness to the max, maximum randomness. So, let us look at the layout for our game called Congress. Start off with a nice clean surface, and what we're first going to do is deal out two columns of four cards apiece. I kind of think of it as uh, your House of Representatives and your Senate. And those two columns will make your tableau. Now, during the course of play, as aces become available, you're going to place them in the center. Now, your job on the tableau is to build down. Build down on that tableau, and it can be done in any suit you like, just as long as they descend in order. And again, as you find those aces, you're going to place those into the center. As you see here, I like to organize them by uh, suit because I'm, uh, uh, it's just the way I am. So you'll have eight foundations. The job on those foundations is the opposite. I want you to build up. Now you must build up within the very suit of that ace foundation and end with king. If you find yourself with eight kings, well then, you've won Congress. Okay, so that's the layout. That's the job ahead. That's the goal. Uh, what do you say we give those cards one last shuffle and let's play the game. So here I am, starting with a nice clean surface. I've, uh, of course, uh, sped it up a little bit to uh, get these two columns of four cards apiece laid out. And you can see right off the bat, I'm very fortunate. I've already got three aces that I can move into the foundation category. Now, take that queen and place it on the king. Place the six on the seven, because remember, in the tableau, you build down in any suit as long as they're in descending order and then replenish those positions from your stockpile, as you can see I'm doing here. Now then, what's next? Here we go. The first card on the ace foundation. You build up on your ace foundations within the very suit. So two of hearts goes on the ace of hearts. Now that jack can go on the queen, because remember, you can build down in your tableau independent of suit. And the more moves you make, the more cards that you stack, you free up positions in your tableau, and you're able to replenish them from your stock. So you can see I'm all the way down to number three up on top right. This frees up some positions for me uh, to grab from the stock. And now look, that three of hearts can go on the two, followed by the four of hearts. That five of diamonds has to wait. have to wait for that uh, diamond foundation. But we're making some progress. Let's draw from our stock. And if you can see an opportunity to build down independent of suit on those tableau cards, well, then you better do it. So here comes that three. I can place it on that four. I've got an open position now, and that queen can accept the jack. How about that king? Well, we're building ourselves a nice waste pile, and remember, that top card remains in play. So any card that you see, try to place it on the two kind of Congress columns uh, left and right, and then if you're fortunate, get those cards moved to your foundations. You can see I've added the two of diamonds, the three of diamonds. Here comes the four and the five to follow. Oh, here's a nice new Ace of Hearts foundation, and as I'm drawing cards, I'm placing them on the piles they belong. So my waste pile is growing. Uh, we will have an opportunity to redeal if we need it. Now, sometimes you have a choice. Do you put a card on a tableau, or do you have another foundation? The six can go on the seven, but I prefer the six on the five of diamonds, building up the foundation, because that is ultimately our goal. Let's see here. The nine can go on the 10. They happen to be the same suit, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the two columns on the far left and far right that make up the Congress, if you will, um, those can be built down independent of suit, as you know. So play continues. 
Now that three can move to other piles. Swapping between tableau piles can sometimes be very helpful to reveal cards you need for your foundations. So don't be shy, be creative. Move cards from tableau to foundation. Move them between tableau piles. Swap those tableau piles as you see I just did there. And then you have free up a position to put some cards from the waste pile and put them in play. There's that nine. Now see, I, I may have missed that eight there. Uh, but don't worry, I'll, I will come back and find it. So now that 10 can go up to the top left. The 5 can go on top of the, uh, on top of the 6. And then how about that 5 of diamonds? So you're always looking, oh, I, that was a good one. I like when I'm able to build onto the foundation there. Now let's swap that pile. Put the 9 over there. That reveals the 10. Did that help us? Not really. But now we can get that 2, 3, and 4 on the foundation and continue to build up. Look, I'm already up to 7. And I'll replenish these positions. I think I like using that jack better. There we go. We'll put those guys into play. The eight can go on the nine. What about that four of clubs? What can he do? Well, the eight can go onto the foundation pile where it belongs. And then how about that two? Right on the ace foundation. How about that other two? Right on the ace foundation. Um, here's another one where I think I may have missed that four, uh, but don't worry. I will come back around. That four of clubs could have been played on one of the two fives in my tableau, um, but it happens. Sometimes things go well in Congress and sometimes things don't. Sometimes things get messed, but we'll, we'll pull it all together at the end. That two can go on the three. That six can go on that seven. There we go. How about that seven? Go up, put it on the eight. How about that two of spades? Can we play a foundation? Can we build on the tableau? There's always some choices to be made, so let's see if we can get as many cards as possible into play here. The four can go on the five. The king is a waste for now. How about a six? Do we have any sixes we can play? No. That seven of hearts can go on the foundation. What about an eight of hearts? We could use that. Five of hearts plays on the foundation. Oh, good. Now we've got our second club foundation, so we can play the ace, and the two can follow. I've replenished that position with a five from the waste pile. Uh, let's scan for ideas here. Can we swap anything? Can we put... There we go. Let's put that four on that five. Eight of hearts belongs on the foundation, as you know. Oh, good. And we have our last foundation finally established and we can build up on those foundations in suit with all the cards that we have here. Cards in the middle, of course, are your foundations, and the two columns on the far left and far right, well, that's your Congress. So 10 can swap from one jack to another. That doesn't really help me. Leave that card alone. How about that 10? And then, see, now that revealed our jack of hearts by doing some swapping. If that 10 can go on a couple of jacks, well, I'll move it around a little bit, and maybe it'll reveal something. And as you can see, lower right foundation, we have closed out one of eight, so we are making some progress here. Now, how about that three? Can I swap the three and reveal the four and move the four over there? Does that help me? Now I've got a five of clubs. Hmm. Well, I guess I can play the two of spades on the foundation, followed by the three and the four. That's certainly helpful. And you can see we got there by doing some swapping. Four can go on that five. And look, now my five of spades is revealed and I can place that on the foundation where it belongs and then replenish that position from my waste pile. There's a nice king of spades there. Now that four can move over. Does that five of clubs help me? What about that eight? Ten of diamonds, are we trapped for now? Okay, so we'll go through our stockpile uh, here and see if we can reveal something that'll put something into play for us. The ten can move up to foundation, that's great. Now we need a jack. Let's see, we kind of need a six of spades. Maybe we can move these cards around and reveal position. There we go. We were able to get through some of our waste pile. The four can move over to that other five. The seven can go on that eight. The eight can go on that nine. Three of clubs helps. And look at these clubs that we've all had stacked up and ready. That is one beauty of this is that cards do find a way to get into sequence. So when you're ready to advance them, uh, they're kind of in ready position here. So we're swapping uh, cards between different houses of Congress, moving from Senate to House and back and forth. Um, to reveal some other cards in play. And I was able to find Jack and Queen of Clubs. And then we can take a position, uh, fill it with something from our waste pile. So as you can see, keep swapping those cards because it will reveal something that can go up to your foundation. So now we're up to nines and tens up top. This is good. We really need a six of diamonds. Let's move that five over. Does that help us? That eight can swap over. Maybe that nine can go up top later. There's a four of clubs. Okay, good. Now we've got that jack of spades. Now we need a queen. There's that queen, and there's that king. So we've closed out now two full foundations. So we are definitely making some progress here. 
Oh, look at that. Now we've, now we've got three closed. I think I'm feeling pretty good about this session of Congress. Let's move that three into the foundation position. And then look, here comes the four and five. The six can join the five of diamonds on that foundation in the middle. And let's move some cards around. Remember to send them independent of suit. It doesn't matter. But now look, all of our cards are in play. So this allows us to start putting them in order, finding the right piles, advancing them up into the positions. So cards that were in Congress are now moving into foundations where they belong. So Congress is apparently exiting for the season here. Um, their session is over, and we should very soon have stacked up all of our foundations to reveal eight kings, and what do you know? We've won Congress. There you go. Well, George, I certainly hope you enjoyed this game as much as I enjoyed playing it. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a great mental exercise. It's a very winnable game, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So in closing, thanks again for joining me, and oh... Be sure to catch us again next time.